Yo, what's up guys, it's Sean, and I'm doing a little tutorial, and um, also I got a partnership, um, I'm a Vexon recruiter, um, that's why I got it, and I've been helping out Vexon a lot recently, so I guess I got that in return, but um, let's just get into the tutorial, and I don't know what it'd be posting in the future, and I also quit editing, so that's why I'm not going to be posting this. And that's why I'm just going to give this away. Um, so basically, this is what it looks like. Looks pretty nice. And if you want to just blur it, you can if you want. But maybe you just... It look, I kind of like it without it, in my opinion. But what you want to do is um, just copy your layer duplicate it control D and then go to CC or look up in your little bar CC mr. mercury and I don't know this by heart but it will be in the description the preset I'm gonna make a preset for this and um, you just set that to 164 and radius Radius X is 164, radius Y is 78, so it's a little mixed up. And for, let's see, birth rate, you want 0.2, not 1, and take the velocity down to 0. And put the longevity to 5, gravity to... Um, Point two again, resistance st stays at zero, and I think the rest er you want to put constant blobs, and you want to put. Let me check, direction instead of explosion, and right here you want to put the blob d birth size at 30.39 and this at 30.38 and sorry I didn't know that by heart and I think this doesn't even matter you'll have a preset but this is if you want to do it by scratch which probably you guys won't want to know um, yeah so the preset will be in the description and if you want to get a little tricky you could go with the blur but I don't really like it so or you could always add the blur to the bottom part and just go like that looks alright not really that good but so and do little just keyframe it just go like say if you want to do it at the shot then just Go like this, and I don't think we need this anymore. So, what the heck just happened? And so, basically, boom. And then you could just always. Uh, and I think it looks better when it fades out instead of just keyframe it out because I really suck at keyframing this I'm really confused on how to do it but I'll try to do it as we speak right now so it might fail so didn't expect too much yeah not a good idea hmm. you might want to do the gravity or something yeah I have no idea to be honest Sorry, I'm not like a master of this Mr. Mercury effect, but what I would do is at the end of a clip, let's see, oh, and this is a crappy S clip that I hit back in the day when I used to trick shot, so sorry about that, just twixter it, twixter over the blur, that's one little problem, frame rate, you guys already know how to twixter. Wait, is it 59.9? Oh, yeah, f 9.4. And maybe.
be. Just do it right here. Four. Let it go to 20 seconds. And then I just cut it. Copy the Twixer. Control C. Control V. And there you go. Should be swag alicious. And uh, if you always want to make it go slow or just mess with the gravity. Yeah, I'm not really a master of this effect, but there's not really much people that have like have done tutorials on this. I don't think I've seen any. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to copy what Frax did. Uh, his is way sexier. I'm not gonna lie, but basically that's it. Good job, team. Get ready for the next round.